What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 93 overall team of the scene so far, Moment Card, Josh Maja. And he actually looks pretty decent, but he actually has a few different cards in this game that has a English nationality, but he actually switched it to Nigerian. Now a lot of Southampton fans will remember this guy, will remember this guy simply because he left halfway through the season because, you know, his agent was a bit... But we move on. He he has got 97 pace, 93 dribbling, 94 shooting, 91 physical, and 88 passing, which looks ridiculous. But EA have gone back to their ways and made this guy a three star, three star. And you know me, I absolutely despise three star, three stars, especially in the end game. They are very, very not usable. But he has got the perfect striker work rate, and 5 foot 11 is not a terrible height. Yeah, it is two inches above meta height, but honestly. I've used like six foot, six foot, six foot one players before, and if their if their dribbling is high enough, they feel like a five foot eight player. Now the reason he did get this card was because he did score a hat trick, which means the challenge today is to score a hat trick with him. Hopefully, no one leaves the game. Now he is on a marksman chem style. He is on ten chem, ninety three acceleration, ninety nine sprint speed. This guy is insanely fast and most likely will be outpacing a lot of centre backs. 96, 96 attack and positioning, ninety nine finishing with. The 99 shot power. He does not have any trait. Literally zero traits in the locker. But with those shooting stats, I'm hoping that at least the power shots will go in. He has got 99 long shots, 91 volleys, and 93 penalties as well. Passing wise, he actually doesn't look too bad. 88 vision, 77 crossing, 74 free kick accuracy, 96 short passing, 86 long passing, and 99 curve. Dribbling wise, looks pretty decent, I must say. 93 agility, 99 balance, 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 96 dribbling, and 99 composure. This is what I mean. He can beat 5 for 11 all he wants, but he's going to feel like that 5 for 8, 5 for 7 player. A person that's going to be very out on the ball, a person that's going to keep the ball very close to his feet, and probably going to be a person that's going to be very, very hard to tackle. He has got 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy. Him being 5 foot 11, I would say he will be out headering 6 foot 1 and below. 92 stamina, meaning he will last about the whole 90 minutes. But this is something that you don't see on a lot of strikers nowadays. 99 strength. Come on now, the guy is going to be causing centre backs a lot of problems. He has got 66 aggression as well. Now, today I have linked him up with Alwa and Cyprian. I've also got likes of Bakayoku, Suzuko, and Lala in the team. I will be using Maja in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that lone striker role. But I also want to try and, you know, try to put uh, up with someone. So we'll try him in a 4-4-2. But let's get into the games. Maja to Awa. Oh, come on now. RB turn. Get that acceleration going. Get the acceleration going. There you go. No, why can't we get that finish across scroll? The one thing that I did like there was the sprint speed came into play at the perfect moment. The perfect moment. Because that acceleration, I must say, was not great. I honestly thought he was going to get caught up and probably not get past that player. But a sprint speed activated at the perfect time. Maja, come on. Use that pace. Get past Boateng. I know you can. Fake shot. Ball roll in. Little touch towards that near post, and I tell you what, it is a beautiful finish. And I was gonna say it's the first goal leading up to our hat trick, but looks like the guy has paused it, and most likely he will be leaving the game, which is a bit unfortunate because I really want to complete this challenge and I do want to score this hat trick. Oh, okay, okay, he might not leave. It looks like he's gonna be doing a few super subs and he's gonna continue playing. But the problem with that is that if I score the second goal, that's probably when he'll call quits. Maja has made a beautiful run. Touch. I'm going to volley it. Why not? I am going to volley. And it is going to go into that far corner. 2-0. 19 minutes in. He has scored two world-class goals. And we are leading up to our hat-trick right now. That was straight off kickoff. The most annoying bit is once again, I do believe he is going to leave. Let's see. Please don't leave. Please. This is what I mean. This is what's going to stop us from completing this challenge. People leaving this game. I'm going to hit that first. Okay. It's a lot of FIFA 19. So let's relax a little bit. But one thing I do like about him there was his positioning. He was sitting right in front of the center back. Pretty much waiting for the ball. But that he, that's his work rate and attacker positioning. Really coming into play. A little over the top. That is beautiful footwork from him. Just to keep the ball very close to his feet. But not just that. Be able to pretty much do that little cheeky over the top through ball. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to hit this. Oh, that is beautiful. With that three-star weak foot as well. I was actually quite surprised how powerful he hit that shot. Because usually with a three-star weak foot, the animation is not the greatest. 
and it just like reduces the shot power by quite a lot and the accuracy by quite a lot. But I tell you what, this looked like he was actually shooting it with his stronger foot, which is quite a surprise. Nice, that's a good run. To realize that he needed to make that run, that is literally superb. Gonna try to outpace Boateng here. There you go, that facial around the corner. You could really see when the sprint speed came into play. I'm telling you, his acceleration is probably the biggest killer about this card. I'm like, I'm not really liking it at all. It's like, he doesn't accelerate as fast as I would like him to, to get round players. Little RB turn. That's nice. Good ball control. Oh, that's beautiful. Can I get a finesse as well? And that's that freak star for coming into play. As I said, if you're going to do anything, you power shot with it because... <laughs> You finesse shot with it, especially him not having the finesse shot trait. It's never going to be great. RBA. Oh, not the greatest touch. Not the greatest touch at all. We have got the ball back and it is going to be offside. That is annoying because I feel like, yeah, there was a lot of power onto the pass. But that touch was terrible. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Fake shot running, fake shot as well. Get through that gap. No, one thing I was thinking to myself is if I get through that gap, especially him having that 99 strength, He's probably going to fight for the ball and he's going to get into that contact to contact situation, right? But because he's got that 99 strength, most likely he will be coming out with the ball against Boateng. So that's what I was thinking to myself. But at the same time, I forgot that he had really low aggression and the fight for the ball wouldn't be as strong as I would like it to be. Make that run. Once again, he's finding the space and he's running into the space, which is always going to be enjoyable. But look at that. That's the acceleration once again coming into play. I don't like it at all. If this if the acceleration was probably 99, he wins that fight against Boateng. RB turn. Bring him back onto it. Left foot. Oh, no. Okay, so Maja has actually hit it with the stronger foot. I thought, personally, he was going to hit it with that left foot. And that's when I got worried a little bit. But Maja does end up scoring another goal. And that is the second goal this game. So, we could potentially have the chance to score the hat-trick that we wanted. I like how he stays up there. I haven't got him on, like, stay forward or anything like that. And because of those high, medium work rates, he doesn't really come back on defense too much. But that just allows me to go for that quick counter-attack. Ball. I like that. I like his first time touch. It gives him a little acceleration boost. Nothing that is not, you know, nothing that is extreme. But this right here, how he feels on the ball as well. Oh, that could have been an insane goal. If he literally, I didn't even click LB or A for that I had to make it and make an automatic run. That was just him making an automatic run, realizing the space is there and obviously going into it. Nice. I like that. Cut onto that right foot. Take one more touch. Oh, that's interesting to see because I took that extra touch to get around that other defender because he was about to get an AI block here if I shot that. So I took that extra touch to get around the defender to see if I can get that near post shot. But team of the season, Bananda, coming out clutch. His movement is crazy. Yeah, I absolutely love his movement. His attacking positioning is just so, so good. He gives me the passing options that I need him to give me. But not just that. He literally finds the space. He finds the space. He realizes that the center backs are too far apart. Or he realizes the left back and center back or right back and center back are not as close as, you know, they should be. And he goes into that space. He finds that space. And he gives me that pretty much running option or passing option, if you want to call it. And it pretty much leads to a goal, I would say, seven or even six out of ten times. Nice. I like how he can do that. A little half drag back, then instant over the top through ball. Honestly... I wouldn't say he can play perfect in the cam position, but if you want to, you can actually play him there. So it is time to review him, and I must say, three games played, five goals is actually pretty decent. Now, we did not complete the hat trick, which is always going to be a disappointment. People were leaving at, like, as soon as we scored two goals, and the chance that we did have, like, we was 2-1 up. It did end a 2 all. so, you know, the guy was pretty decent. Nothing insane, obviously, but... If we just did we choked pretty much we choked that is something i can't say now i am going to start it off with is he worth it he's currently only going for 90k it's 284 overall teams which is actually pretty decent for this card and i am gonna say he's he is worth it but if you do not like three star skillers or you don't even want to use a three star skiller as a super sub then don't get this card if you know how to use three star skillers this card is absolutely insane now, him being 5 for 11, it did not have, like, I did not have a problem with that at all because he felt like a 5 for 8 player. He feels amazing on the ball. The high medium work rate was amazing as well. He made runs at the perfect time, but not just that, coming short at the perfect time as well. The three star skill moves is always going to be a bit too readable for me. I can't do my burp spin, my flip flats, my running scoop turns, my four star heel to heel. 
and it just bugs me a little bit that I can't really do that. So for me personally, most likely Major will be going into an SPC because I tend to avoid as three star skillers slash three star weak foot players, especially near the end. Like I have so many options of four star four stars. Why would I personally deal with three star three star if you know what I mean? Now, if I had to compare him to someone, I feel like he's a commander. A three star three star commander. And me saying that is like it's like a I like Commander a lot. That's something I do I can say. I like Commander. He's you know he's got a four star skill moves, he's aggressive, he's got a pace, he's got a shooting ability. He's just an all round and amazing player. But Maja, I believe, is a he's a cheap version of Commander. That's what I think. Now, pace wise, as I said, the new rating system is you know, we have to rate each one out of ten each uh, category. So pace wise, I did not like his acceleration. But what saved the pace was his touch. His touch would go a bit further sometimes when he's on the turn, then get him in instantly into that sprint speed. So I am going to give his pace an 8 out of 10. Shooting-wise, he was a really, really good finisher. That is something I can say. And if he had the outside foot shot trait, it would absolutely save him, especially when turning onto that left foot. So I am going to give his shooting ability a 9 out of 10. Passing, I enjoyed it as well. So I would say... I would say it was top tier, I must say. It was probably an 8.5 out of 10. Dribbling-wise, definitely, definitely going to be a 9.5 out of 10. I absolutely loved it, honestly. The only thing that was time to time a bit inconsistent was his touch. But we all know it's Fever 20, you know, touching the ball is not, it's not the greatest in this game. Now, defensive-wise, for what, I'm just going to give him like a 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10. It wasn't great. We can all understand that, though. Uh, Physical-wise... I liked it, but it wasn't as effective as I would, you know, I wanted it to be. Him being, ha him having 99 strength, I thought it was going to be one of those ones where he could shoot players off fairly easy. But not just that, when he gets into that contact contact situation, I felt like he was getting bodied. And I f also feel like it's because of the aggression. The aggression, him fighting for the ball was not high enough. So the strength, I really didn't see it coming to play. And for that reason, I am going to give his physicals a 7 out of 10. So we are going to give him an overall rating out of 10. And if I have to give him one, I would potentially give him... I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. I believe this card is good, but he's not insane. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.